Aquasensor FST instruments typically hold their calibration for months or even years without needing adjustment. Intoximeters does not require that the instruments be periodically calibrated. A calibration adjustment need only be performed if an accuracy check on the instrument has failed. This brief video describes the steps for performing a calibration adjustment on the Alcosensor FST breath alcohol instrument using a dry gas standard. To perform a calibration adjustment, you will need the following materials. Your Alcosensor FST device and a new mouthpiece. You will need an alcohol gas standard. We will be using a dry gas standard with an ethanol content of 0.038 BRAC at sea level. The dry gas standard concentration can be located on the gas tank label. You will also need a 1.5 liter per minute regulator to attach to your dry gas tank. It is a good idea to keep a logbook of accuracy checks and calibrations performed on your device. You can purchase an accuracy check calibration logbook at alcopro.com. A calibration or calibration adjustment is a procedure for setting the device or instrument to a known standard. A best practice is to allow only certain staff who are proficient in the calibration procedure to perform a calibration adjustment. Before performing a calibration, you must first locate the expected value of your gas standard. The expected or target value of your gas standard can be derived by referencing the altitude chart on the back of your tank. For example, if you are performing a calibration in Knoxville, Tennessee, which has an altitude of 886 feet above sea level, the altitude chart shows the expected value of the alcohol gas tank to be 0 .037. You can also derive the expected value of the alcohol gas tank by using a TrueCal device, which uses atmospheric pressure to predict the expected value of the gas. You can purchase a TrueCal device at alcopro.com. Now that you know your expected gas value, you can proceed with a calibration adjustment. First, attach the regulator to the dry gas tank. For safety purposes, point the regulator end of the canister away from your body and away from others. Twist the regulator securely in place, making sure you don't over tighten. You may hear a pop or a hiss sound as you tighten the regulator. This is normal. Before performing the calibration, it is important to purge the regulator. This is done by pressing and holding the button or valve on the regulator for three to four seconds. Purging the regulator releases any dead gas that may be present in the regulator and generates fresh gas for the purpose of the calibration. Attach a new mouthpiece to the Alcosensor FST. To access the maintenance menu, first press the OFF button located under the display screen. Then press the ON button which is located on the back of the instrument. Hold both buttons for a few seconds until the screen displays RCL. Put the FST device in calibration mode by pressing the ON button repeatedly until CAL displays on the screen. Press the OFF button once to select the calibration mode. After the calibration mode has been selected, the temperature will momentarily display. Then the device will perform an air blank. An air blank is a procedure that checks the device for any residual alcohol that may remain from a previous test. You will hear a single click. The display momentarily reads the air blank results. The device should read 0 .000 before continuing with the calibration. When the FST screen flashes CAL, attach the FST mouthpiece to the tank regulator. Next, press and hold the regulator button and count to 7. When you reach the count of 6, press and release the FST's ON button to take the gas sample. On the count of seven, release the regulator button. Gas must be flowing through the mouthpiece when the on button is depressed. Remove the Alcosensor FST from the regulator and observe the reading. If the result does not equal the expected value, then the number displayed must be adjusted to match the expected value. Look at the display. The digit on the far left will be flashing. You change this digit by repeatedly pressing the ON button until the desired digit is showing. Press the OFF button to move to the next digit. Now the middle digit should be flashing. 
Repeat these steps until all three digits match the expected value. Once all three digits are adjusted, press the Off button to finalize the entries and the procedure. The display will flash three times, then the instrument will turn off. If the displayed result is the same as the expected value, then the device is reading accurately and does not require a calibration adjustment. Complete the procedure by pressing the OFF button three times to progress through each digit. After OFF is pressed the third time, the display will flash three times and the instrument will turn off. Now that you've calibrated your FST, record the result in your logbook. Finally, perform an accuracy check on your device to verify the calibration adjustment was successful. It is important to note if your instrument cannot maintain accuracy within an allowable tolerance following a calibration, you must take the instrument out of service and have it evaluated and serviced by a factory trained technician. If you need technical support or repairs on your AlkaSensor breath alcohol instrument, contact one of our factory trained technicians at 1-800-227-9890 or through live chat at alcopro.com.